Hey everyone, my name is Rui and we're here. This is going to be week number four of the ABL, the Amateur Battle League. And we're up against Soy and his uh, Syndicals, I guess. This is going to be a really, really difficult matchup for me. He has a bunch of strong threats that honestly kind of directly counter my Mons. And it's just going to be a really difficult kind of matchup for me here. But I'm going to lock in my team i don't have any duplicate items and i think i'm just about ready here i did think a lot about what kind of leads he, he would want to come out with i try to put as much thought into how my team interacts with his but we do see the lapras which honestly lapras just has an incredible time against my team the, the lapras meow stick was honestly what i expected him to want to lead off with a lapras meow stick Dracovish, Marshadow, Politoed, and Raichu. Really, really interesting. So no Marowak. No Marowak is wildly huge. Uh, I kind of expected no no Duraludon, but it's 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 the no Comfy and no Marowak that really throws me off here. So what I want to do, I mean, I really am expecting him to want to lean off with the Lapras and the Meowstic. I think those two just have an incredible time leading off against me and a kind of planned out a sequence here with these two leading but everything else is just going to be me trying to figure this this one out i really don't know how to play this one does he have any other popular leads i mean i i really couldn't imagine marshadow leading i i really couldn't imagine maybe polyto drakovich but even then I'm, I'm not sure i feel like i feel like klefki deals with a lot here um in particular I'm hoping it can kind of deal with the with the meow stick as much as possible. Um, but yeah, there's just a lot of threats to, to kind of deal with here. So I, I don't know. I'm just I'm just nervous. If that's exactly what I expected. Okay. So what I'm kind of expecting here more than anything else would be for him to want to fake out into into my hydragon and Z move my hydragon. Um, so what I want to do. Is I'm gonna switch a scarf onto the meow stick, and I'm going to protect my hydragon. Uh, ex again, I'm fully expecting a fake out in, into the hydragon slot, and I'm more than half expecting a Z, a, a Z move, a max ice into a G max resonance into my hydragon slot as well. So if that happens, um, I think that's gonna be my best way to kind of manage that. Um, yeah, there's the max right away. Uh, obviously, if he's going to max right away, I think the best the best kind of target for that would be the Hydreigon for G-Max Resonance. And I could just definitely see... I could just definitely see a fake out in, into that slot, in the, into that same slot as well. But... There's the Protect. There's the Protect. Do we see... Okay. Okay. So whatever move this Meowstic goes for, it will be locked into it. Do we, is that going to be a Trick Room? I do get a Culverberry. Um, but it goes for the Safeguard, which is really interesting. So I can't Thunder Wave. But it will be... It will be locked into that Thunder Wave. And there is the G-Max Resonance into the Hydreigon. So it looks like Hydreigon actually might have been able to take one. And he should know just how bulky I am at this point. Um, I do have a lot of HP, I believe, into this Hydreigon. Um, so this is a very interesting position for, for me to be in. Um, I don't know how I want to play this. Um, I kind of want to, I think the Marshadow could easily come in here. I think the Marshadow could easily come in here. Um, part of me really wants to click Sunny Day. I, I obviously can't click Thunder Wave, really. I could also just switch out into something here. I think, huh, I don't know, mm. I mean, I really do want this thing out here if the Dracovish wants to come in, but it seems so unlikely right now. I'm going to go into this, and I'm going to click U-turn into this Meow Stick here. Yeah, because that slot has to withdraw at this point. Um, goes out into the Politoed. So we could very well see a we could very well see a Dracovish wanting to come out here, but well, not quite yet. Uh, this thing's kind of stuck out here a little bit, and this Ferrothorn is gonna gonna want to take some things with it here. Um, 
But yeah, there's the U-turn. Gonna deal a little bit of chip damage into this Polytoad. That was a crit. Um... But for right now, I don't know what I want to switch into here. I, I, I mean, honestly, it might just be in my best interest to switch back into this thing. Um, that way I can potentially play some switcher games and I can get a... There's the Max Geyser. Interesting. That will be into the Ferrothorn slot, which does a lot of damage. That does a lot of damage. It is in the rain. But I will be able... Actually, I could just leech seed into this slot and get a sunny day up. Yeah, I think that I think that would be optimal for this situation. Um, so far, I've gotten a decent amount done. Um, I'm nowhere near out of the woods, but my positioning could be a lot worse right now. I think sunny day is going to help me out a lot here. Does withdraw the polytoad? Do we see the Dracovish? There, out comes the Marsh Shadow. Now, this is kind of the... I think I've already taken too much damage on my Ferrothorn. But there's the Sunny Day. The Sunny Day was just in case the Dracovish wanted to come out. But, um, this is kind of exactly... Goes for another Max Geyser. Uh, I'm assuming that'll be into the Klefki here. And I believe... Um, I'm still under... Safeguard. Now, I now I, I kind of hard expect a... a a close combat to want to come into my into my ferrothorn but this is exactly another exact situation that i expected me to find myself in except uh not with this veil still up the veil is still a huge problem but i could just protect here i really do just want to I, I think i'll protect here but we have withstood we have officially withstood this, um, I do just want to check out two more turns of safeguard and veil. I could just sunny day again. I mean, that feels right to me. Do what do I really need the clef? I really need the clef before the for the Dracovish. But I think I don't know. I I feel like this works. I really, I I think he's going to really want to. Okay, this thing comes back in. There's a protect. I really don't see him giving up an opportunity to want to close combat into my Ferrothorn. But I just have to wait out this Aurora Veil just a little bit longer. Um, Force Palm. Okay, that's that's a special Marshadow? Question mark. I I don't even know what to do with that information. I'm just going to have to, I mean, I'm just going to have to gyro ball into the Marsh Shadow and play rough into the Marsh Shadow. I'm going to try to ignore her. Uh, so, so, so the Aurora Veil will end after this turn. Um, my Ferrothorn is Chobbleberry, but I don't know any of the Forest Palm Calyx for, for whatever that's worth. Um, there's the Safeguard, but it's, but Safeguard's already active. Um... And there's the Chomple Pop. Uh, now, what I was banking on was for the Smart Shadow to be to be close combat, and then he would lower his own defenses. Um, but we do get the play rough off. And actually, that looks is that weakness policy? That's weakness policy. But I do think that's enough damage for me to be able to take it out with a gyro ball. It's going to be. Oh, that's okay. Okay, that's rough, but, but, I just have to call this correctly. You know what I think? I, I think I can Jarbo into the Marsh Shadow. I think he's going to want, well, I think I can just double, double attack it and he can, and I think he can only take one of me out. Um, and he's got a safeguard, so there's no use in clicking Thunder Wave. So, yeah, the safeguard is going to come out. I mean, there's nothing I can do about that, but... He can only KO one of us. There's the Shadow Sneak. I don't... Oh, that actually does KO, but um, I think it's going to be fine as long as um, my Ferrothorn is able to take out this Marsh Shadow. But Force Palm Marsh Shadow was something that I would have never expected. That is insanely huge from, from Soy. But uh, it's going to be... That's honestly pretty rough for my... For my... 
answers to Dracovish. I think I just have to go out into this thing. Um, he could honestly, he could honestly, yeah, I mean, honestly, that Clefie was absolutely vital to be able to check the Dracovish. So he has to bring out the Politoed, right? And then he could honestly uh, switch out one of the slots for the Dracovish. I think that would be probably the optimal way he, way he would want to play this. Um, Just brings out the Dracovish right away. Interesting. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Well, Sir Fetched... Uh, I mean, how many turns of Sun are left? Two turns of Sun. Two turns of sun. What kind of damage am I doing to a Dracovish? Oh, I think he's gonna switch out. He's, he's definitely gonna switch out the Meowstic into. Yeah, okay. Um. Yeah, okay. I think I know what he's gonna do. He's. I, I think he's probably scarfed and he's gonna. And he's gonna wanna hit into my. He's going to want to hit into... He's going to bring in the Politoed, and he's going to... Oh, okay, yeah, he's, he's, he's going to bring in the Politoed, and he's going to want to hit into my Surfetched. Um, but I can deal... I, I can get the damage off with with First Impression, and be able to finish it off, I th hopefully, with Ferrothorn. And then, if I could take this thing out, that would be beyond huge. Like, unspeakably huge. That does right around half damage. I have to imagine Fish's Rend is going into Yeah, okay. That's totally fine. As long as I can get some I can get the necessary damage off. I don't know if Ferrothorn can pull it off. Nah, no, just mmm. That's that's a rough one. That's a rough one. However. Um If it's locked into Fisher's Rend, yeah, I mean this should th this should be the best way to manage it. This should be the best way to kind of manage it here. What I really want to do is leech seed into the Polytoad and just attack into just attack into the into this thing because I don't think he's ever going to be able to be able to take out goes for the fishes rend uh we are pretty much max hp and sludge bomb will take out the dracovish so that's absolutely huge and we'll be able to get some passive recovery off on this polytoad there's the icy wind now neither of these mons have any have any speed um but it's still, it's still not a good position to be in. It's still not a good position to be in. Honestly, Ferrothorn, Ferrothorn's in a fantastic position to, to kind of um, do a lot in in this end game, but I still have to manage the Lapras, and I have to manage, I don't know, I have to manage the, the Lapras and the Raichu, which is going to be difficult. But we've managed a lot of the biggest threats. Um, definitely the two biggest threats that or out here have been somewhat managed um and the fact that my yeah okay okay this feels not difficult for me um let me see yeah i'm just gonna do this um if my if my If my Hydreigon goes down, if my Hydreigon goes down, then there's Expanding Force. Uh, okay, okay. Um, I'm still in a very interesting position, and I still have a full G-Max left. So I can kind of juggle this as long as I need to. And I can get uh, some very respectable damage off. 
Um, I can Dark Pulse into... I mean, I probably want to Dark Pulse into... I honestly don't want to get taken out on this turn. If he Ice moves into me, then do I have a switch into that? I don't have anything left. So I might as well just hit it, right? Um... I could give up... Hmm. Could I, though? Um... Yeah, I think I can. I think I'm gonna do this. I think I'm gonna do this. Oh, I mean... That's fine. I, I kind of expected, um... To go down on this turn anyway, so, I mean, I guess... Uh, it could have been worse. It could have been worse. There's the freeze dry. Um, Fear of Thorn gets frozen. Oh my god, okay. That was almost remarkably scary. But the bigger point here is that I can start. Hmm. Hmm. I don't quite know how to do this yet. Safeguard's gone. I think I have to do this. And then I can... I mean, honestly, I think I can just leech seed this slot because I don't think this is going to want to stay in. And then I can... G-Max for a Sandblast into this slot. And that's going to put me in the best spot possible, I think. I think, yeah, if there's going to be any switch outs here, it's going to be the Raichu slot. Um, and getting, and, and, and keeping my Leech Seeds up is going to be huge for that. And then, Santaconda is just in a solid position to, to deal a lot of damage here. Although, I'm not especially defensive as I would obviously like to be. Um, I think if there's anything that's going to get me out of this um, bind here, it's going to be the Santaconda. And my full G-Max turns, but I'm definitely not in an optimal position here. I'm definitely not in an optimal position here. But, I mean, I'm not far from one, question mark. There's a Surf. Um. I mean, okay. Oh, that's a lot of damage. Oh, man, that's a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. Okay. I'm pretty worried. I'm pretty worried, if I'm honest. But... I am faster, so that's huge. I, I was honestly kind of afraid that it would be some kind of a crazy Lapras that's, um, that just has a bunch of speed and that it, and I, I don't get to move at all this turn. I think I'm okay with that, honestly. Maybe not. I, I, think, I, I think I just lost. I mean, Ferrothorn... I guess Ferrothorn can still win this, right? It's not impossible for Ferrothorn to, to still win this. It's not impossible for Fairthorn to still win this. But <laughs> this is Fairthorn's TP too. I drafted I drafted this in final round. And I can see a scenario where where I can get where Fairthorn can eat this out. But honestly. It's gonna hurt me a lot, just not I mean silly things like not having protect on my on my Eternatus. That's gonna be huge. And I don't know. I don't know. Well, now I mean, now I feel like I have to leech seed in. I mean, now this slot's the most likely to to, to want to switch out, and then I have to hit a dynamax cannon. Um, but yeah, I think this right is going to make make it too difficult, and I think that. And I think this honestly is, is going to go to timer. This is honestly going to go to timer, even though Ferrothorn should, by every indication, be, be able to win this out. Um, there's the expanding force. I, I, I mean, I don't think there's anything that I could do to make this not go to timer. But Ferrothorn should should be able to win this. Honestly, um, I don't think there are any answers left to to Ferrothorn. Other than getting frozen again, which would be not ideal. 
Um, but uh, it looks like okay. Um, honestly, I have to just power whip the Politoed. I have to get an Oko on that, and then, and then maybe I can just slightly eke this out on on HP. But, uh, yeah, this Lapras is definitely going down after this turn. <sighs> this stinks. I should, this should be mine to win. And this timer is going to deny me, I think. This timer is going to deny me. The obvious place to protect here. And I'm just gonna try to move as, as quickly as I can. I mean, I I mean, I would like to think that's why I just wouldn't want this to go to timer uh, either. Um, and maybe the better play would have been to. Yeah, there's a protect. Um. And then. <sighs> the water absorb. It's fine. Yeah, it's fine. Um. I'm still going to get more HP, which is, I guess, the bigger thing, but I, I just don't win because of timer. But I don't think that... I don't think there's any way that Ferrothorn pro really loses this, honestly. Other than timer. And I can try to power whip into the Politoed, try to make some things happen, but um, hopefully I get one, one final attack off. There's the Surf. I can't imagine uh, this doing a whole bunch of damage. But this animation is just going to take too long. I, like, I'm not even going to get any other turn to move here. Um, I'm going to get Freeze right on. Just fine. Um, I would like to think that I can take out this Politoed. Uh, there's that. Um, but yeah, I mean, honestly, there is zero chance that Ferrothorn loses here other than the fact that I lost that I just lost a timer well I mean that's that's gonna have to be I guess the way that we take our first loss I mean I definitely wouldn't have wanted to win this way or lose this way or have this happen at all to anybody but I I feel like I know that this uh should have been my match to win um I'd be amazed if this if this scarfed Meowth stick uh, has enough damage output to, to kind of do it, but I don't know. That's just going to have to be our, our, our week four. I really thought that I had a lot of interesting ways to try to win this, but uh, the Lapras was my undoing. Like, I knew, I always knew that Lapras was going to be a huge, huge issue, and it ultimately was. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. We'll be back really, really soon. With more weeks of the ABL, more weeks of the GDL, but um, and more weeks of, of something uh, coming up really, really soon that I can't quite talk about yet. But once again, that's going to be it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching. Once again, out.